Finding out your child has a rare disease can be a life-changing diagnosis. It's exactly what happened to Kristen Cozera, who's joining me here today. She's the mother of three girls, and your youngest, Avery, yes. has CDKL5 deficiency disorder. Yes. What is Avery like? Oh, Avery is just the sweetest little girl. She is happy and easygoing. She loves being with her family, playing with her sisters. We have this fun game that she likes to play. She's got an adaptive switch that she can hit, and we've got it hooked up to an iPod and some speakers. <laughs> and so we call it DJ Avery, where she'll hit the button, and the song will come on, and her sisters will dance. And What kind just, of music does she like? Oh, you know, the same junk that Taylor all, Swift yeah. and all that. <laughs> five to ten year olds like yeah of there's course. a lot of taylor swift there's a fair amount of frozen and uh, moana thrown in there as well i like frozen so, too yeah. so <laughs> and what are some of the challenges associated with being the parent of a child with a rare disease so everything just takes a lot more time and effort um which is totally worth it but you know you really have to plan ahead um we've always been a very active family and you know having Avery and with her disorder that hasn't actually changed that we just have to kind of adapt um, to figure out how to make sure that she's included in everything that we do so she comes with us whether we're hiking in a backpack whether we're biking on a special bike that we had made up that she sits on the front of or skiing in her sit ski and you know she just lights up when she's you know downhill on dad's bike or on on skiing with us on the mountain so you know a little time and effort but it's it's absolutely worth it and you guys have a big event coming up right we do. We do. We're doing the Million Dollar Bike Ride um, through Penn's Orphan Disease Center. Um, it's an amazing way to raise funds that all goes towards research. So it's very exciting. And when is that? That's the beginning of June on the 8th. Excellent. Kristen, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Of course. Thank you. And if you're interested in learning more, you can visit cdkl5.com.